Ciao, welcome, this is Davide Alaska to Patagonia and today we're gonna talk about sleeping bag or quilt, synthetic or dawn. What's the best sleeping system and what's the best for you? Let's start from the first choice that you need to make. Synthetic or dawn? I don't have a synthetic sleeping bag here, but I, I have used it at the beginning of my trip from Alaska to Peru, I had a synthetic sleeping bag and then I switched to Dawn. Why do we choose uh, synthetics versus Dawn? Well, there are four different uh, reasons. The first one is, uh, is price. The second is weight. The third is water resistance. And the fourth is uh, ethical reasons. Reason number one, price. Usually synthetic sleeping bags are much cheaper than, uh, than Dawn bags. And that was one of the defining factor of my choice when I started my trip and I used from Alaska to Peru uh, a synthetic uh, sleeping bag. And I basically I had to put together all my kit. I spent lots of money in gear and so I had to be uh, to save some money here and there. And when it came to the sleeping bag, I decided for a, for a synthetic one because I, I found a good offer on, uh, on Amazon. The second factor is weight. The synthetic sleeping bags are uh, much bigger. They don't pack down uh, small and they're very heavy because, because they don't have the loft of the dawn. Dawn can be compressed. I don't know how many hundred times, but it can be compressed a lot. It packs down very small. The third factor we said is water resistance. When uh, a synthetic sleeping bag is wet, it gets damp, it retain up to a point its uh, insulation uh, properties. Therefore, you should be able to sleep warm even if the, if the um, sleeping bag is wet. Traditionally, when, uh, when Dawn was wet, it lost its loft and so there was no loft, there was no air in between uh, the Dawn and uh, there was no insulation. So if, uh, if a sleeping bag got, uh, if a dome sleeping bag got wet, there was no there was no way to to stay warm at night. Now that's and that was a defining factor for many people when they had to choose between one or the other. Now that is is changing lately because, uh, uh, for example, these two bags, they are uh, they are made with a hydrophobic dome. The hydrophobic dawn doesn't lose all its loft when, uh, when it's wet and uh, therefore you should be able to sleep warm even if, they are, um, even if the, the bag gets wet for, for some reason or damp and also it, it dries three times quicker than normal dawn. Uh, when, you, when you purchase one of, uh, one of the bags it should be advertised as hydroponic, uh, hydrophobic uh, dawn, or usually you see it as an option. You can buy this uh, this bag in, with uh, with traditional dawn or uh, hydrophobic dawn, which has this particular treatment on it, and it costs a little bit more. Uh, for example, Cumulus, uh, the brand that I use, I think charges 70 or 80 euros more for the hydrophobic uh, dawn. The fourth factor is, uh, is uh, ethics. So some people are, don't feel comfortable uh, to use a, a dawn uh, bag because uh, that comes from an animal. And so there are some vegans that they, they, don't, they can't use, they don't wanna use a, a dawn sleeping bag. And uh, I'm not got getting into ethics because that's different for everybody. Uh, there are uh, now on the market bags that uh, use uh, uh, ethically uh, so source uh, dawn. So you can, you, can get, you can get in touch with the, with the company or you can read in the, their website. And usually they have information uh, where the, the dawn comes from and uh, how it's harvested. So in this case, you have to choose between the oil industry and uh, an animal product. It's up to you. What are the advantages of the, the Dawn sleeping bags compared to a synthetic one? Well, they have a better uh, 
warm to weight ratio much higher they are much the packability is higher so you can compress it down very small when you pack it and uh, also durability is uh, it's comparable if you if you look after well your um, your dawn bag uh, it will last uh, probably close to 20 years and uh, it's it's probably going to outlast uh, the need that you have for that sleeping bag as i as i mentioned i have used the synthetic sleeping bags from alaska to peru and then i switched to a to a dawn sleeping bag and why did I choose that? Because in Ecuador I had a I had a herniated disc, and I needed to to lose some weight uh, on uh, on my gear. So I changed several things uh, in my kit, and uh, one of the things that I had to choose was uh, was getting uh, was getting rid of that big and heavy sleeping bag and switch to a much uh, smaller and, uh, and lighter one and uh, I'm pretty happy about that uh, also uh, the sleeping I, I found this uh, Polish company that makes very good products at a competitive price and they also uh, had hydrophobic uh, hydrophobic dawn and that's uh, very important for me because I know that I'm gonna soak wet uh, the sleeping bag at some point at some point or another now would you choose a sleeping bag or a quilt what is a quilt basically a quilt is a sleeping bag that is missing the back and the hood and why would you do that well basically you need to understand how dawn work dawn keeps you way keeps you warm only because of the loft so when it's compressed there is no there is no insulation so when you are uh, sleeping on your back you you are gonna compress all the back side of your uh, sleeping bag and that doesn't keep you warm what keeps you warm in, in that instance is the r value the insulation of your uh, of your sleeping pad so if you want check out uh, uh, the video that we made about the the sleeping pad and you will understand better the R value, the insulation, how warm you will sleep with one sleeping pad or the other. But yeah, so when you sleep on your bag, uh, on your back, on your bag, there is no insulation. So why would, why do we want to carry that uh, that amount of material? We can cut it out. What are the advantages of a bag versus a quilt? The bag has uh, a more uh, snug feeling and it has less, uh, less drafts because sometimes if you're not careful you can have some drags because you, you have an open, when you twist and turn you have a, an open bag and if you check the, the construction of a dawn sleeping bag usually they put 60% uh, uh, of the dawn in the front part and only 40% in the back because they know already that that back part is not going to be used, it's not going to keep you warm. What is going to keep you warm is just the sleeping pad. What's the advantages of a quilt? Well, the obvious advantage is that we, because it doesn't have all that back fabric, it's, uh, it's much lighter and it packs down smaller. Usually quilts are uh, more uh, versatile than bags, but that really depends on, on the models because uh, usually the, the quilts you can open them up and they become like a, like a blanket and you can do a better temperature management when it's really warm you can use only part of it or you can use it only on, on part of your body and it's more difficult to do it with a, with a sleeping bag usually the, the quilts are, uh, are cheaper than the sleeping bags because they use less material now for example this this quilt uh, was the first model that Cumulus made and uh, I realized that uh, I don't like it because why? The foot box is closed and, uh, and my problem is that uh, either my feet get really cold or really warm. So I, I, I need to, to have them outside uh, my bag at times. So this model I don't use it anymore. 
because I don't, I don't like the fact that I cannot open the foot box. So in the new model now, you can, uh, they have a zip and you can fully open and it opens up like a blanket. And so I'm trying to contact them and ask them if they can modify my bag and, uh, and make it into a, one of the new models that they have. So when you, when you look at, the, at the, the model, the quills, make sure that you're able to open your foot box and it, and it can open pr practically like a, a rectangular. And, uh, and so you have a, a very versatile product that you can use it in, in many different occasions and in many different seasons. Quilts are also uh, thermically more efficient than bags. What do I mean? Well, basically these are two products from uh, the same brand, made with the same type of fabric and the same amount of dawn. And this quilt is more thermically efficient because it will, uh, it will basically insulate you better because all the dawn is not, there is no dawn in the back, there's no done wasted, so this is much warmer than this. At least two, three more degrees gained. The quilts also come with uh, straps that you can fit in different, uh, in different places along the, the backside. And these are used to uh, properly attach to the sleeping, to the sleeping pad so that uh, basically you can create a, a, a tight fit cocoon. And when you twist and turn during the night, you don't have drafts coming in. If you don't use those straps, you will have drafts coming in because it tends to, to open up. Given my own experience, I've chosen Dawn, hydrophobic Dawn versus synthetic. And uh, I would like to, to continue my journey with a quilt, but it has to be open. Otherwise it's useless to me. So hopefully uh, I'm able to, to get Cumulus to to modify to modify this uh, this quilt and make it into like a nice blanket that can fully open up this is my choice let me know in the comments down below what's your choice hit the like button or dislike if you didn't like the video hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the bell icon to receive a notification remember if you receive a notification of a video in italian or in spanish Go in the channel because there is also the English version. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!